Remember that all credits are given in the description below. This is a Bessemer oil field engine. This is the first startup in 50 years. This is a 12.5 horsepower one-cylinder Cummins diesel engine from 1927. It is capable of doing 600 revolutions per minute. Intake valve, exhaust valve, injection pump, plunger, injector, it's a unit type injector. There's a camshaft area. All adjustments in here. Here's your governor rotating up here. Bevel gears in there and spur gears throughout the uh, timing case. A gear here, another one here. Another one here on the oil pump, another one down below and on an idler, and one on the crank. Plenty of gears. Here's the uh, starting valve for air starting use. A timer for it. Here's your water pump, plunger. That's how you change your oil. You just open that valve into a bucket and let her run till she sputters, they say. That's what the book said to do. And like a T head, it's, it's like a, it's a hemi almost. It's a hemi cylinder. Big injector there. There's a metering rod. Another metering device. This is a Solzer diesel engine weighing an impressive 15 tons or 30,000 pounds. by Rogers Diesel Aircraft Corporation uh, in New York. Sigma Corps US, US, US Army. Power unit PE-245A.
This is the dashboard side. It's got the old timey fuel pump on it, I guess. This is the tag. Been running today already. Run starts and runs good, so it should start right off. This is a Cummins engine from 1943. It delivers 90 horsepower at 1,200 revolutions per minute. It was used in the Army Genset, aka a diesel generator, and was capable of delivering 25 kilowatts of electricity. This is a Cummins diesel engine used on a boat. The engine is cooled by a continuous flow of seawater, or in this case, water from a hose, hence the water coming out of the exhaust. Consider subscribing to stay updated on new uploads and similar exciting content about engine related stuff.